everyone, my name is Matt McCool with Motion VFX, and welcome to M Fitness for DaVinci Resolve. This is a straightforward graphics pack designed to streamline your sport content. Whether you're creating follow along workouts or an athlete highlight, M Fitness has everything you need to display information in an impactful way. So let's go ahead and take a look inside DaVinci Resolve. All right, so once you install M Fitness from the M Installer application, it can be located under your effects library under titles. You should see M Fitness right here. Now there are six different categories. Let me quickly run through each of them. So there are eight different counter presets, 16 essential graphics, 49 pre-animated icons, 10 infographics, four social media callouts, as well as 15 typography presets. So let's start off by taking a look at these counters. Now a few of these are just purely based on the duration of the clip. For example, this one here, or also uh, this one right here. So let me drop this into the timeline so we can take a look at how this works. So by default, this will count up to 10 because that's what we have set in the counter controls. Now we can type in three because he does three reps in this video. And the speed at which it counts is based on the duration. So if we wanted to time this a little bit better, we could maybe stretch this out something like this. And I'll turn off the out animation for this one. Now let's see if this times with those pull-ups. Okay, pretty easy. And you can also use the content controls to, you know, reposition, rescale your graphic here, or you can also activate the fusion overlay right here in this drop down menu. And this will give you these green on screen controls. And from here, you can simply click and drag, or you can select just an individual arrow if you want to lock your adjustment to a specific axis. You can also grab the outer edges here to resize very easily. Now let's come down here to the title controls and I'll just type in pull-ups and maybe we'll make that a little bit bigger. And then under graphic controls, this is where you can stylize the progress bar. So if you don't want the progress bar, you can simply disable it. And maybe for this, we could just move the text up like that. Or if you want the progress bar, you do have some controls for how it looks. So you can change the color of the skinnier line right here. You can also adjust the thickness so if you don't want a line at all, you can just reduce that to zero. And you also have control for the counter bar color. So you can make this maybe like a red and let's make this one also a little bit thinner like that. So that's pretty easy to use. Uh, number four here is pretty much the same thing, except this one's got an animated circle that kind of clocks around the timer there. And then here's another variation with these animated lines that kind of strike through the numbers with an added text box that you can customize. Now the rest of these kind of work more like a traditional timer. And I really like this one. It starts with a full color and then kind of depletes as the timer counts down. So let me show you how this one works here. Now one thing to keep in mind with these timers, it's really important that you set the duration to a whole number of seconds because if you have something like this, you might get some unwanted like in between timings because the clock is going to round to the nearest second. So you can hit control or command D on the keyboard to bring up the change clip duration window. And from here, you just want to make sure that you don't have any extra frames. So if you want to adjust the seconds, you can type it in here. Now here you can see it starts at six because of course it's counting zero. So we will see seven units. Let me just uh, turn on the fusion overlay again and we'll just move this right over here so we can see it a bit better. Now over in the timer controls, you can adjust various settings about the clock here. So if you turn off the timer reverse, then it will count up and the animation will also fill in rather than deplete. You can also turn off individual time units if you just wanna show you know, minutes and seconds, for example. Just keep in mind if you have something unselected, but you have something larger than zero, then it will still do the math, but it will use the available units. So for example, I have one hour, so it's gonna show 60 minutes and five seconds. So let me just reset that back to zero. And let's say you only wanna show seconds, you can certainly do that simply like this. And if you have a single digit like this, you may want to select the seconds zero cut and this will just give you a single digit and it will still work even if you have uh, double digits. So let me show you if it's set to 11 seconds, then we will hit 10 like that and we still get double digits. So if you just want it to look clean and simple, we have this seconds zero cut option for you. 
So plenty of customization with these timers. And it's gonna be really similar with the rest of these timers. I do wanna highlight this one because it's got this really neat little path. So let me show you how this works. Now again, with the fusion overlay, you can activate this and kind of adjust the path here and really design a specific route. And you can see the line will still animate along that path. And of course the timer controls work exactly the same with this one. So we could have it go in reverse if we wanted to. We could turn off hours. And remember, these are all just offset sliders. So if you have everything set to zero, then it will just start at zero and count up. If you want it to start at a specific time, like maybe 15 minutes, then of course it will start at 15 and start to count up from there. Now, if you wanted this to start at 15 minutes and then start to count down, then all you have to do is think about the duration here. So we've got a five second clip. So we'd have to type in 1456, because remember it is counting the uh, zero digit. So now it will start at 15 and start to count down from there. So pretty easy to use, easy to customize. You do have two different controls for the colors of each path. So if you wanted a white and maybe a yellow, you have the complete freedom to design exactly the shape and color that you want for your path. So those are our counters. Again, super easy to use, super flexible. Now let's move on to these essential graphics. These are just a really great way to display various information on screen, certain stats. And a lot of these have a number where you can input and they will all count from zero up to that desired number. So let's take a look at this distance preset, for example. Now this will also work well with this running shot. So let's just layer that right on top. And again, I'm gonna turn on the fusion overlay and maybe just reposition this over here. So over in the distance controls, you can input your specified number right here. So we can type in 50, for example, and then under unit controls, you can type in, you know, miles, whatever you wanna do here. And you can see it will count up from zero and then stop at that desired number. You can also adjust the title controls here so we can reposition that a little bit, maybe choose a more bold font. So there's also an oxygen saturation graphic here with this nice little heart icon. And of course with this one, let me show you real quick. With the number slider here, you can see as I adjust this, it adjusts the number as well as this little circle percentage. So that's kind of cool. Same thing with this progress slider bar here. This one also has a number control and you can type in a specific number and the number and the bar will update. You can design the color and the thickness pretty easy. Here's a nice little burning calorie graphic. And uh, I also wanna show you this sets preset here. Now this one's pretty cool. And with this one, you can see we've got six dashes with a number here. And you can see over here in the number controls, we can type in a different number and the dashes will reflect whatever we choose. And we get this nice little animation. Let's actually disable these temporarily. So you can see the start out white and then grow into these green dashes and then they shrink down. And of course you can turn off the in or the out animation if you simply want it to start like this and then count up like that. So those are our essential graphics, just a really nice way to display various kinds of information on screen. All right, so moving on to our 49 animated icons. Now these are really cool. Now if you're looking for a specific icon, it's probably in this list. Now we got this runner, for example. Now let me go put him back over here on top of this stuff right here. And then if I layer this right over my graphic, now you can see this kind of draws on nicely like that. Now generally, I like to kind of offset these animations so that your viewer has you know, one thing to look at at a time. So if I slide the runner animation over, then we get kind of this nice little animation there. And I think those work really nicely together. Now let's say I wanted everything to have the same color scheme. I could go into this path and make this kind of like a bright orangish color and then just copy this hex code and then go back into my runner icon and paste the same code. And now everything shares the same color. So you can really design something specific to your brand. And like I said, we have an icon for everything. I mean, there's these jump ropes. We have a heart rate with a nice little pulse going through. Check this out. There's this little basketball player and he's going up for a slam dunk. I just think that's the cutest thing ever. <laughs> so really just tons of useful little icons. 
All right, so let's move on to these infographic presets. Again, we have 10 of them, and these are gonna work a lot better kind of as a full screen graphic because they kind of do have more information to display. So we've got this diet breakdown, we've got a weekly performance chart, and again, with these, you can, of course, go into each day here and adjust the scale for each day. You can change the color. You can also change the title here. So complete customization with these. And there's even this really handy balance sheet preset. Now with this one, you can see we have each individual activity. And if you go into one of these activities, you can adjust the amount here. And that will update both the number as well as the circle that corresponds with that activity. Now check this out, there's also this muscle group preset. Now this one will give you this whole silhouette here and under the silhouette controls, you can select male or female, front or back. And under the muscle controls, you can even deactivate specific muscle groups. And you can see when I do that, these other muscle groups just turn gray. So under color controls, you can actually choose what color you want the main muscle groups to show up as, as well as the inactive muscles and of course the silhouette as well. So again, full customization with those. And of course, whenever you switch from male or female, it will maintain those same muscle groups. And then have this really nice little animation on the in and the out. Now, another one I wanna show you is this weight scale. Now this one I think is pretty clever. So if we put this on our timeline, you can see we get three numbers, but we only really have to adjust one of them. So if we change the number here to like, you know, maybe 145 pounds, then these neighboring numbers will also update and that will animate on and each number kind of scales in like that. I think that's just really sleek. It looks like you put a ton of effort into this and did some real serious hardcore math, but you didn't. You just had to put in one number and the preset does the rest. So those are our infographics. Again, really customizable, very, very useful. Now let's take a look at these social media callouts. Now most of these will have a little drop zone area. So let me show you how this works. I'm just going to put this right underneath our other two graphics and maybe we'll just size it down and slide it right over here in this corner. And then under drop zone controls, here is where you can select a picture. So I have this picture of the same woman there and I can reposition her using the inner position, maybe resize a little bit here. And under logo controls, you can even select different social media platforms. You can also set this to custom logo and then import your own logo if you need to. But I think I'm just gonna leave this on Instagram there. And you can see we have a very nice little animation there. Let me move this clip out of the way so we can see it. This one has a nice little logo icon. And uh, here's a subscribe animation. And I really like this one. It's a little bit different from the standard subscribe animation that you may see around. You can see if we drop this into our timeline, it just lights up green and gives you this nice little bell animation. And uh, I really like that. And lastly, let's take a look at some of these typography presets. So we have eight lower thirds and seven full screen titles. Now these are really great and creative. They're nice, sleek, just easy to use. So this one, for example, you can see some of these words get highlighted in green. You can control that under the title controls. You will see a right on slider right here. So you can drag these in and out points to select different characters at a time. You can also drag this entire bar from left or right and really dial in which words you want to highlight. Of course, you can also change that color to whatever fits your brand and it animates on very nicely. Here's another really useful title. This one kind of gives you a full workout breakdown. And of course, this one has complete customization for everything that you see here. Now, I really like these lower thirds. They're really minimal, so they don't really distract from your main workout, but they still look professional. So that really helps with legitimizing your brand. Now, this is another example with that cool little highlight technique. So under the title controls, you will also find the right on control right here. And just like the other title, we can drag this around and select specific words that we wanna highlight. So again, complete customization for these typography presets. Now, last thing I wanna show you, uh, all of these presets actually work just fine in a vertical orientation like so. 
So let me show you with uh, this one, for example, if I drop this in, you can see everything looks correct. So it should look exactly the same in both horizontal and vertical orientation. And like all of our presets, we've also included a 4K quality toggle, which is off by default because it is a little bit more resource intense. But if you are exporting in 4K, it's ideal to select this option here. And it will just increase the quality of all of the on-screen graphics to make them look that much better. So that pretty much wraps it up for me for this video. You can check out MFitness for both DaVinci Resolve and Final Cut Pro on our website. If you have any questions or issues, feel free to reach out to our support. We are always happy to help. And thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>